the Puritan poets we're reading today um, are not interested in writing a poetry uh, that would add beauty to the world, right? The idea that uh, poetry can in any way compete or vie with God's creation um, is really anathema to the Puritan poet. By the same token, as we also uh, as we also saw, Puritan poets don't value their interior lives <laughs> enough to feel that the spontaneous outpouring that a romantic poet might value uh, is what their poetry is for. The most striking example comes uh, in the poetry of Edward Taylor. Edward Taylor um, wrote poetry his entire professional life uh, and even before from the time he was a Harvard student um, uh, training for the ministry um, to the very end of his life. Here is a, a volume that includes the complete poems of Edward Taylor. One can see that he wrote a lot. Poetry was a means of spiritual discipline a way for the poet uh, to come into deeper recognition of his own sinfulness and a more humble understanding of his place in the world. If one looks at a poem by Edward Taylor, and there are, as I've said, hundreds of them, if you look at any one, uh, what you'll find are six line stanzas, A, B, A, B, last two lines, a couplet, C, C. Um, no variation at all, none at all. Edward Taylor writes hundreds and hundreds of meditations using just that, that form. And the medium of the stanza functions for Taylor as an apparatus um, on which all of his poetic exercise um, is performed so that Formally speaking, there's nothing in the verse itself, in the arrangement of the lines, in their, in their numbering, that will say, oh, what a unique way of managing the stanza. The stanza's in a sort of brown paper wrapper. Uh, and yet the poet is obliged always to uh, make the first line rhyme with the third line, the second line rhyme with the fourth line, and to produce, at the end of the stanza, a couplet. And that, too, contributes to a sort of, um, a sort of poetic discipline. Now, even as I've described Edward Taylor's um, poetic practice as enormously regular and unflashy, in a way, what anyone who reads even a little bit of Taylor sees immediately is the gusto and vitality and psychological candor and kind of um, fleshy, palpable muscularity of, uh, of, of this poet. The way to understand any poem uh, by Edward Taylor is probably, first of all, to understand uh, when he wrote his poems. He wrote them on Saturday night. Um, every Saturday night, he really knew how to have a good time, uh, uh, in preparation for the sacred office uh, on Sunday morning of preaching to his congregation and of administering the sacrament. That activity um, was one of such awesome responsibility for Edward Taylor that his own um, spiritual condition um, uh, was really important to um, keep in trim. And so what Edward Taylor would do every Saturday night is write a poem that delivered him into a full consciousness of his own sinfulness.